Cosmic Impact Asteroid. These have been happening for billions of years in our solar system and across the universe. In fact, if you ever look at the moon and you see all the craters on it, that's actually direct evidence of a violent past of asteroids impacting. And they've happened here on Earth too, except we have erosion that kind of erases that evidence. Other of all impacts, at least in the geological recent history, is the Chicxulub asteroid. This asteroid impacted Earth about 66 million years ago. This particular asteroid was a big one, super huge. In fact, it was 10 kilometers, about six miles. So imagine this is six miles. Your average cruising altitude of a passenger plane is about six miles. So if you're in your uh, your plane or your X-wing, you're just hovering around looking out your window and you're like, Hey, what's that? That's a tip of a rock just laying on the earth. That's how big this thing is. That's a big rock. And when this thing impacted, it released about somewhere between 21 and 900 billion Hiroshima atomic bombs. 75% of all life went extinct as a direct result of this impact. Now, it's not a matter of if another asteroid such as the Chicxulub asteroid is going to hit Earth. It's a matter of when. Movies such as Deep Impact and Armageddon, where Bruce Willis saves the world. These movies have dramatized this, but this is a real thing that could happen. So what can you do? Planetary defense. Planetary defense is what we can do to stop an asteroid from impacting Earth. It involves finding them, uh, deflecting them, coming up with plans in case one hits, and educating people. In fact, there's organizations uh, around the world trying to do this. And what these organizations try to do is find NEOs, that's near Earth object. Now, how do scientists find these asteroids? Well, they stare at the stars. So you can imagine if they're staring at the stars, which don't seem to move from our perspective. And if you see something moving across those background stars, then that could mean that you found an asteroid. But these need to be followed up on and tracked um, to confirm and to also make sure we know exactly where they're going and when. So there's a lot of scientists uh, around the world constantly looking at these. And scientists need more help to do this. So there's a lot of citizen scientists and amateur astronomers that use small backyard telescopes to track and find these asteroids that could be a potential threat, such as the Unistellar EV scope. They're small backpack telescopes, very easy to use. And we have thousands of them around the world and you can use them for science. Why should we worry about asteroids? There are over a million near Earth objects and we've only found about 20,000. We have to be pragmatic. That's being concerned with the practical consequences of our actions and aware that if we want to succeed in whatever that might be, such as living, then we have to take practical action to solve our problems. Asteroids are a low probability, but high consequence natural disaster. In fact, Asteroid impacts are one of the only major natural disasters that are 100% preventable with enough warning. So here's the thing, we have the knowledge and ability right now to do all this. However, not nearly enough is being done. 66 million years ago, 75% of all life, including the dinos, were wiped out by that 10 kilometer asteroid. The dinos didn't have technology in a space program, as far as we know. We do. So there's no excuse for us not doing something. If we're hit by an asteroid and an entire city or country is destroyed or worse, it causes a mass global extinction event. And that is not bad luck, that's ignorance. You know, there are many perils that our species face. Global climate change, our current pandemic, ecological disasters, extinction, poverty, all kinds of things threaten us and things that we need to work on together. Life is precious, and as far as we know, rare in our universe. As the dominant technological species, we are the shepherds of this planet Earth that we're on, and we have a moral responsibility to safeguard and preserve all life on this planet. Please spread the importance of this ever important topic, as well as contact your local government officials, telling them that this is an important issue and that we should have more resources devoted to it. You can even help yourself by spreading the word and talking to those officials, or you could use your own telescopes, like the EV scope as an example, and you yourself could help contribute to saving the world.